Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Level M Diecast. It is Diecast Hall time. Yes, we are up to big episode 2828 on the nose. This is going to be quite the doozy. I did pick up a new M2 hauler, Coca-Cola hauler. That is the uh, Dodge pickup and the 300. Chrysler 300. Uh, Dodge COE, I should say. So, some M2 starting to hit. Not a whole lot of it. Um, did pick up this guy as well. That is the newest version of the uh, A100. This is the camper van. Again, Coca-Cola. 1965. Put that guy maybe right there. They got an enormous list, by the way. Uh, no particular order. We're just going to roll through some stuff. Did pick up this Honda Civic. It's a Maesto. This is a pretty rare casting. Um, and I haven't really come across the red one. So, fortunately, came across this particular one. So, that's pretty cool. Definitely a very, very rare casting uh, to come across. So, we'll just kind of set that guy maybe right there. Uh, Tarmac Works. I picked up one. Um, I got this for super cheap, too. I got this for like 10 bucks. Um, so that's why I picked it up. This is the Hyundai in I 30 in TCR TCR Malaysia 2019 champion in liquid Molly. That one looks pretty good. Hobby 64. So that one's pretty cool. I don't have a ton of tarmacs, you guys know, but, um, if I do come across them, I do try to pick them up. Uh, just rolling with some randomness to pick up this guy. This is the 2018 international work star grain bed. Um, I did pick this up uh, loose, just as you see it. Um, this was not packaged. Uh, so this is a green light, uh, but this was packaged for, or I'm sorry, made for some type of farm company, some kind of farm, something or other. Um, but this one looks pretty good. This is a, a modified version of the same H, or I'm sorry, AS, SD trucks that they already have. Um, does have a tilting bed, so the bed does tilt. It's pretty stiff, but it does tilt up. The top comes off the uh, canopy piece there. And then, of course, the uh, back hatch opens up, which looks pretty cool. This one is a pretty detailed model. Definitely uh, far more detailed than what we get um, from the grain trucks that we do get from Greenlight. So, let's put that back on there. Uh, just simulates a little bit of a roll-up you know, canopy tarp. I don't think that these are numbered. Yeah, these are not numbered, so they're not they're not standard green light releases, but they still look pretty good. I like the detail on the side. There's one other color for this. Um, I think it's got a maybe a black or gray front and a blue back, blue blue in the back. I think, if I remember correctly. So we'll just sit him up there. Of course, I do have uh, regular Hot Wheels. Um, we're just gonna be all over the place here because, like I said, this is a big list. I uh, did pick up this guy right here. This is the Zamic um, for the Pagani Waira Roadster, which looks all right. This is definitely not one that I was able to find on my own. I had a buddy pick this up for me. So this is part of the uh, AK Zamix or the first wave of Zamix, I should say, which also has that van in it. So looks pretty good. Gold uh, 10 spokes on there. The Zamic part looks pretty fancy, so definitely like that. Put him there. Um, I am. I did realize I was collecting the Mod Squad. I pretty much had all of the versions except for this one, this Broken Promises. So I figured I'd pick this one up. Got this for like a dollar. So this is a, uh, I think this was a last year release, I think. They also had a card variation on it. You could get the full Broken Promises card variation on it. So nothing fancy, just a average casting so throw that down there all right one of the Zamix on the second mix uh is this uh pro street thunderbird so this one is also in the same mix as the combi unfortunately right when i found this i walked right past the guy that pulled every single combi from the dump in did not even leave one single combi so that was unfortunate but this one looks pretty good i do like the blue on the side a little bit of a blue tinted window as well. So, not too shabby for a Zamic. Definitely like that one too. Um, I have a couple versions of these. Actually, I picked up a premium one of these recently. And I realized um, 
I didn't have this one. I think this might be even the original release. Uh, this was also in the, I think this was in the E case. Uh, I think it was in the E case uh, this year. So, but different wheels on it. So nothing fancy. This one just has those uh, kind of faster than ever style five spokes in silver, which looks pretty good. Get that to focus. There we go. Just Snoopy on his house. Not too shabby. It's an all right piece. Plastic base. Throw that down there. Uh, a little bit older one. I uh, didn't have this one with the five spoke. Um, I have about 30 different versions of this particular casting. I do collect this one. Uh, but I didn't have the five spoke. So this car came with about... I don't know, 10 different wheel variations as the 95 first edition. Somehow I didn't have the five spoke, which is one of the most common wheels for it, which is kind of interesting. Your power rocket does have an opening canopy. There's a driver down in there as well. So very interesting. Very interesting the way that this thing is assembled. So it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a rocket car. Um, another casting that I collect, this is from Rebel Rides. This is all the way back in, I think, 2005. This is the Fright Bike, which does come with the Dragster Edition part on the back. So, get this one cracked open. Very clever packaging of Hot Wheels. Get the cardboard out of here. So, there's just a little bit of a rubber band on there. So, we'll just... See if we can pull it off if it even comes off in one piece nope broke right off there we go uh but the the wheelie bar just folds up and snaps and then that way you can have your wheelie bike which looks pretty good and then when of course when it's folded up it folds flat and then your bike can just sit there no issues that looks pretty good definitely like that one for sure pretty in ingenuity all right, regular treasure hunt. This is regular treasure hunt for the E-Case mod rod. This is the other mod rod. that I When I realized I didn't have that mod rod, um, picking up this regular treasure hunt. There is your logo. Nothing fancy. It is a fantasy casting, so it's not as desirable as most regular treasure hunts. So we did pick this one up off the pegs. So throw him down there. Uh, another one that I had not picked up yet from the E-Case is the 55 Bel Air Gasser, the Tri-5 Terror in yellow. So, there is the Gasser with the red win window in there. Looks pretty good. Batuski Fabrication. Got 427 in there, so pretty fancy. Uh, this would have been the Super Treasure Hunt, uh, but this is just the regular 68 Mazda Cosmo Sport in orange. I don't really, really, really like this casting. I just picked it up because, um, you know, they've only released two other ones. So easy to uh, keep current with them. This is a right-hand drive. So that one looks okay. It's okay. Uh, let's see what we have here. Okay. I have been looking for this freaking Zamic like forever forever um and i've never been able to find it every time i come across people with zamix and all that kind of stuff nobody's got it finally picked it up this past week and finally got it uh, just super super stoked so i now have all of the d100 trucks uh very very stoked about that um, i actually left a little spot in one of my display cases specifically for this guy because i knew eventually i had to find him just eventually uh, but it's just the same deco as the k n just zamic and not orange of course, it looks a lot better in Zamic. Naturally, put him there. All right, this was a pretty cool pickup. So I already have this particular model. I have this whole set, as a matter of fact. There is the mix in the back, in case you're curious. This is a older Gran Turismo release, uh, 2017. Uh, but I didn't have an extra one of these loose. And so I really, really wanted one. Got lucky enough to come across one this weekend. So I now have the orange McLaren from the Gran Turismo series, um, an extra one, loose, which is pretty nice. No deets on the back, 
but it's got deets on both sides and then of course those prints on the front with the headlights and it does say a mclaren just uh with some gray colored uh pr5s on there it looks pretty decent put them back over there with the pagani all right I actually got this in a collection that I picked up, and I figured I'm only going to be able to sell this thing for like a dollar anyway, so I figured I would just keep it because it is a truck. It is a truck, and it actually transforms uh, into a ramp, um, which is rather interesting. There is your Mahjong logo, though, on the bottom right there. Looks pretty fancy, kind of cool. So this guy does fold out, uh, or not? I guess not a ramp. It comes turns into a car hauler. There we go. So there you go. There's your car hauler, which is kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It's not super awesome, but it's it's, it's kind of cool. So it's a pretty involved piece, which is kind of interesting the way it's designed. But there we go. Put our McLaren back over there. We'll put this guy maybe. Can't even really see that guy. He's not going to stay up there. Let's see here. Let's put our... That guy down there. I'm kind of put him up there. We got to make more space. Got to make more space. Uh, let's see. Older Hot Wheels did pick up a black wall. This is the color effects. Uh, this has, you know, you get them wet and they make stamp colors and whatnot. That is the Ford Aerostar van. Ugh. And this blister is like, I do not want to be opened. There we go. Crack him open. So there is the Aerostar van. It does have a chrome window, which is part of the front end there. And then, of course, it has a metal base, plastic body. So it's a very interesting casting. They uh, they definitely didn't do very much uh, time and effort with that casting. So you would get this wet, and then you can make stamps. There are two uh, hands as a stamp, two feet as a stamp, and then you have a splatter and then you have a different kind of splatter which is interesting so we definitely don't keep the stamp parts because i don't don't particularly care about the stamp parts so put the smaller guys here in the front make some rearrangements here so we can fit all the stuff all right let's see what else we got going on here how about all right how about we move on to some johnny lightnings so this is the 76 Dodge Aspen RT, a little bit older release from the Walmart Johnny Lightning blister cards. This one in white does not have uh, real riders, it does have just plastic two-piece wheels on it. Looks pretty good though. Uh, it does have an opening hood, very basic detail in there, no prints, no nothing, nothing fancy. Does say RT on the side, it's a pretty good casting. I particularly like that RT badge on the spoiler in the back. Looks pretty good. Does say Dodge on the um, license plate. So kind of an interesting, interesting car. A little bit, a little bit of Mopar action. Uh, we got one more. This one is a little bit better. Uh, this one does have Real Riders tires on it. Uh, these are a little bit more sought after um, from the Johnnies, just because nobody's really made this casting. Does come with those really nice steelies, which is really, really nice. Looks pretty good. A little bit different modification on the casting. Doesn't have the wing on the back. So this one looks still pretty good. Hood opens a little bit better on this one. I really like those wheels, though, with that uh, chrome hub on it. Looks pretty fancy. So those are rubber tires on that particular guy. So throw him down there. A uh, couple more Johnnies. I did pick up some military stuff. We have some Wheeled Warriors. This set has been extremely difficult for me to find uh, at retail. Could have ordered it online, but I decided to just kind of wait. And now it's just been a, a nightmare to try to chase it down. Uh, these are from 2019. So that's how far behind I am with the military stuff because you just can't find it anywhere. Uh, this particular one is the Willys MB Jeep in uh, snow. It's the version 2. So, crack this guy open. Not a white lightning or nothing like that. Just covered in snow. Got some snow on the tires. Looks pretty cool. Very interesting. Uh, canopy does not come off. It is fixed. Um, and then the windshield is also fixed because the canopy doesn't come off. But this is pretty cool. A little bit of white on the top of the jerry can to indicate it was snowing. 
So that's kind of a cool detail. Looks pretty good. The windows are a little, little too frosted, but of course it's cold out. That's just what's going to happen. All right, picked up uh, some more Wheeled Warriors. These ones are the duels. Um, I did end up getting both version A and B. Version A is the nice one. Version B is the rusted out bucket. So I'll take a look at uh, the first one. This is the WC-54 Ambulance. The Dodge WC-54 Ambulance. Get the plastic out of here. Uh, this is an absolutely fantastic casting. It's pretty beefy. Looks really, really good. Love the military wheels on there. Always thought about buying one of these and tearing it apart to take the wheels off and put it on something else. But Johnny Linings are a little bit expensive to be uh, chopping up and using for parts. Does have an opening hood. There is no deets in there other than just the casting, uh, which is very, very three-dimensional. Looks very, very good. Just having a spare tire there as well. A little bit of deets on the back. Does have a stretcher with some tools on it on this side. Looks pretty good. So that is a pretty fancy one. We'll put him in the back. Then we'll take a look at our rust bucket version. Get that out of here. There is the uh, patinaed one, which uh, they did a pretty good job. They did a pretty good job of making this rusty. You know, the, the decals are worn out. You know, your, your frame's going to be rusty. Pretty, pretty typical rusty areas. Um, and then it's like really rusty on the top, you know, because it's been beaten by the sun and stuff. That looks pretty cool. And then, of course, underneath the hood, it's all good because, you know, the hood's been closed. So they did a they did a pretty good job with this one, uh, especially with the patina style to it, which is pretty nice. So it's a pretty decent one. Let's see, that guy will fit. It's like right on the edge of the screen. We're just going to have to deal with that one. All right, very last one we have. This is the uh, M998 Humvee cargo troop carrier. This is the version 2, which is the dirty version. Version A is the clean. Um, I do have the clean version already, so this one is a new addition. Get these out of here. Uh, nothing fancy, just your typical uh, Hummer casting, uh, Hobby Lobby, or Hobby Lobby. Uh, Johnny Lightning, uh, where you can get at Hobby Lobby. Um, has been um, using this casting for a while. So the entire middle section here is actually a separate piece. And so they just change out the bodies, whether they want to make it a two-door, four-door, a Humvee, the wagon, the civilian wagon. It's all the same. Um, it's just a very, very interesting way that they built the casting. Um, and it works perfectly fine. I think it works awesome. Casting looks good and doesn't suffer at all. Um, but this one is pretty nice. So just a little bit of a fancy one. Um see guys a little bit bigger just a little bit all right as we roll through we do have of course hot wheels premium um picked up a couple of these from a buddy just just to have so t1 panel bus from cargo carriers in moon eyes that is the mix had that pretty cool honda odyssey and of course the skyline wagon that everybody wanted at the time the big big deal so, crack this guy open. Nothing fancy. This is just something that probably everybody watching this video have seen a million times. Go to the moon. Go with the moon. So, should have built all the, uh, should have cracked all the bigger ones first. I got one more T1 panel bus. This is the Coney. This is from a relatively recent release of retro or pop culture, I should say. So there is the mix. Of course, that was the MK, MK, MBK van when it was brand new with the HKS livery, which was pretty cool. So get this cracked open. This one is pretty nice. Kind of been eyeballing this one for a little bit. I just really like the silver and white two-tone. You know, we do love the color silver here at Level M. So we are a little bit partial to that. This one looks pretty good. I'm not a big fan of those small four spokes, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. Get some space here. Park the T1s next to each other. Then we got a brand spanking new release. This is the most current pop culture release. Or, uh, yeah, it is pop culture, yeah. Uh, so this is for Star Wars, The Mandalorian specifically. Um, this is the 66A100. There is the mix on the back. 
So this mix is popping up at some on online retailers like JCar and stuff. Um, I did pick this up locally from a vendor um, that I usually buy from. So um, didn't need to buy a whole case or nothing. I just wanted the Dodge van. Rest of the mix looks pretty good, but uh, I don't collect any of those castings. So there is our Dodge van, which looks fantastic. I couldn't tell you who that character is because I don't watch The Mandalorian, but I really like the deco from the headlights how it fades back that looks really really good of course all the deets are fantastic nothing fancy with the wheel they've used this wheel before on this particular casting it looks good though just a tiny little uh copyright logo right there on the back so doesn't uh ruin it you know which looks pretty good of course black uh painted base looks pretty fancy so we'll put him over there to the side some older Hot Wheels Premium. We do have Motor Trend here. Uh, this is the E-Type. Of course, the E-Type just dropped on the RLC last week. Uh, or the week before, one of the two. Uh, this is that really nice mix that has the um, Porsche 930 in it. Which is a really, really, really good casting. And of course, the Hummer. The Hummer is a pretty sought after one as well. So, I have pretty much all of those. But uh, didn't have this one. Uh, it's very interesting two-piece blister here with the window piece in the back. And then there's a tray. Pull the tray out. Pull the car out. Get the, get the materials out of here. So this is our E-Type. As a matter of fact, I think this is the first E-Type the Hot Wheels ever did. Uh, this is from their 100% Hot Wheels line. So multi-parts. Decoed up. Hood opens. Looks fantastic. Of course, rubber tires. Details look fantastic. It's just a really, really good casting. They did a really, really good job with this one. I think red's a good color. It would have been, it would have been nice to get in British green, but I think British green it gets um, kind of beaten to death with the Jaguar. Um, just, just, just because it's the most iconic color for sure. Um, I got one that's a little oddball, a little weird. This is Rebel Rods. Uh, this is the twenty-seven Miller. Um, this is just a cool, unique race car that, for an era of racing that I don't have in my race car display, and uh, I didn't even know Hot Wheels made something like this in a single pack, um, for a relatively affordable price, so um, I think I got this for like six bucks, I think, uh, which is, you know, basically your standard premium cost, which is perfectly fine. There is the 27 Miller. Looks fantastic. You know, old school Roadster. Open top, open wheel. Just super, super cool. Nice real riders on there. All metal. Looking very fantastic. Now, I know that they've made this casting in other things. It's also been in some of the black box kind of stuff. Uh, but this one is a little bit unique, uh, at least in my opinion. And it's going to look good in the race car display, I think. All right, I've been looking for this casting for a little bit, uh, this particular version of this casting. I have about 20 different versions of this Countach, uh, but I didn't have this one. This is from the Automotive Milestones. Comes in a ridiculous clamshell, so pull out the good old trusty scissors. Chop this guy up. We'll pull our Countach out. Comes with a little, little tray, I think. There we go. Get that out of here. Get the tray out of here. So this comes with a nice two-piece wheel, um, but it's not a real rider, but it is a two-piece wheel. Uh, in yellow, a little bit of deco on the side. Deets on the back look fantastic. A little bit of print on the base as well. Unfortunately, it does have that Automotive Milestones logo on the top, which definitely takes away from some of the details. But uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. This casting is, uh, I think this is a pretty good casting, although their most current one that they did for Jay Leno is by far way, way better. Way better. All right. I got something super cool. I got some Matchbox. Only got a couple Matchbox things. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one first because the next two are pretty cool. Uh, so this is Calendar Girls. This is a premium truck. This is the uh, Kenworth T2000. Uh, these are from 2002, I think. There is the mix. Um, I don't have anything from this mix. This is the first time I'm finding this mix. 
uh, you know, because these are all the way back from oh, 2001. So, but I love trucks. I love all trucks. I do try to chase them down, especially when they're Matchbox, um, Matchbox Premium trucks. Uh, not so much the, um, let's see here. Sorry, these, these blisters are a little bit, a little bit funky. So, I'm going to bring out the scissors. Do not like the way that these are packaged. There we go. We'll just get the truck out that way. Makes me wonder how they even get those blistered at the factory back in the day. All right. Well, that was rather interesting. All right, so there is the trailer. There is a calendar on it. So that looks pretty good. It has March and April. There is your 50 style, you know, pinup calendar girl. Does have a removable trailer, obviously. So it is March and April on both sides. It's the exact same sticker. Uh, just depending on which side you look at it is the direction. Of course, it does have opening doors in the back. A little detail, a little bit of print on there. Looks okay. They do have this little crash bar added to make it premium as well as the real riders for Matchbox stuff. There is the truck. They did a fantastic job. This casting is a bit small, uh, but it's a really, really good one. They do have the added on mirrors, which look fantastic. The grill looks especially nice on this one with your Kenworth logo on it. Full deets. A little bit of taillight print on there as well. Of course, Rail Riders. Very, very nice casting. Chrome base as well. So, very, very upscale uh, at the time. So, we'll put this right here maybe. Yeah, it's just we're running out of room. All right. Now, you guys know, uh, unless you're living under a rock, that there are now chases in moving parts. And I got fortunate enough to get this set. Um, I got these on trade. I definitely did not pull these off the pegs because the Hot Wheels guys are going nuts over these things right now. Um, but there are both left and right hand drives for these. So, just like the original release of this Land Rover... Um, if you want to get both variations, it is available for both. Um, there seems to be one per case. Um, well, there is one per case, but there seems to be relatively good stocking for now. Um, so this is in the B case, but it's only showing up in the B case from Walmart, not the B case from Target, which is kind of interesting. I don't believe that this is a exclusive thing for Walmart. I think what happened was is that Walmart probably got the case first. Matchbox is not very good with their chase distribution, which we all know. And they probably got all the chases and then Target got none, which is unfortunate. But this is the Super Chase for moving parts. It is the Land Rover, classic Land Rover. So super cool, super fast on this side. Got Land Rover, A-Gib. Got Matchbox Trophy on the side, Range Rover. Rubber tires as well. Those are the Matchbox True Grip tires. Full deets on the backs is 9075 Range Rover RR on the plate. The orange is a very, very nice color. Just have a little bit of a British flag right there on the door, which is super cool. Uh, this particular one is right-hand drive. I'm not sure if you can see in there, but that is right-hand drive. And then we do get full deets on the motor, which is super cool. So they go all out with this one, which is very, very, very nice. And the good thing is, is this matches perfectly uh, the color. Because the first one we did, the orange, uh, the kind of mustard color didn't match the body um, with that one. And then, of course, this one is left-hand drive. So not sure if you can see that one in there either. Um, R44 is when these were manufactured. So they have been around the block just a little bit. We're just going to put those two... Super Chase is kind of right there. I know they're kind of out of the out of the uh, video just a little bit, but we still have a ridiculous amount of stuff to go. All right, we got more truck action. There's a lot of trucks. There's a lot of trucks. Uh, this is an older Super Rigs. They didn't call them Super Rigs at the time. As a matter of fact, they were all called what they were. So since this was drag racing, um, it was called drag race hauler. You see they had the helicopter hauler, the show street, rumble road, uh, combat hauler, uh, which is actually a pretty cool one, uh, flatbed farm hauler. And then of course they had this one, the drag car hauler. 
Um, so I don't have any of these. This is my first one of that whole entire set right there of six. So let's go ahead and crack this guy. Again, they had some very interesting blisters. So here we go. It's a giant, giant blister. We'll get the truck out of there. Slide this guy out. Pull out our dragster, our altered state, or whatever the whatever it's called. It's got a moving part. So tire fryer. Uh, it does have an opening hatch. Uh, one of these directions. Oh, it's so stiff. But it opens up. The motor down in there. It is all metal, which is pretty cool. So this casting is all metal, uh, which is pretty pretty nice. It's an okay casting. It's nothing fancy. Um, and then this is the truck here. Nothing fancy with the truck. I do like the Hot Wheels logo embossed in the uh, lower section there in gray. Kind of an interesting looking truck. Very, very small windshield. Uh, it has a little tiny ramp um, that does fold down. And of course the whole thing comes down so that you can get it on the ground and put your dragster on there, which doesn't fit on there at all. So the dragster doesn't fit in the little wheels unless you put it this direction. Um, and that's about the closest you're going to get. So not exactly the most intuitive way to do it. Um, let's see here. It's just, it's just not going to happen. It's just too much going on. Try to stretch that out. Put this guy up there. There we go. It's close enough close enough all right we got one more this is a brand new one this is a 2023 release of super rigs uh this is a brand spanking new casting i was pretty stoked to find this i didn't uh, normally with the super rigs you'll see them pop up you know from other countries first and you kind of know what's coming out uh, but this is the baja battalion uh, which does have a little bit of a feature to it there is the mix so baja battalion is new and then you have a reissue of the Carnival Steamer, Cruising Illusion, Rumble Road is a, a re-release from a much older release, Rat Rig, and then Speedway Hauler is also another uh, re-release. So Super Rig's not doing all that great with their ridiculous amount of re-releases. But we're going to go ahead and get this one out of here. I've been anxiously waiting to get this one open because everybody keeps telling me it's got, it's got some kind of feature to it. Oh, all right, so check this out. All right, so there's your truck, right? Look at this. It's got a whole pivoting chassis. So pop the trailer off. Look at that. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I didn't think that was going to be the moving feature. I thought maybe the axles were going to be loose and you could, you could kind of do something with it. But this is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Says rigid on the side, says own the night. It's American flag, and Hot Wheels. Huge intakes here on the back. Some big tank on the front. Some quad exhaust there. There's another spare tire right there. Looks pretty good. Definitely a very, very large vehicle by size comparisons. Uh, this whole section back here is plastic. Base is plastic. There is your deets for the Baja Battalion. Uh, this whole gold part, though, is metal which is pretty heavy, and then, of course, that's plastic back there. This is the trailer. The trailer does have a, kind of a living quarters type spot up there, but it doesn't open or do anything. Uh, details on the side, got your jerry cans painted up, number 68, because, of course, since 68, of course. Little tanks on the side, looks pretty good. Of course, the only thing that's metal is that little piece right there underneath the axle. So that looks pretty good. does come with the... Uh, I'm not sure what this is called. Maybe the Baja Shaker, Bone Baja Shaker. I don't know. Whatever this is, it comes with this, which looks pretty good. Matches it very, very well. Got your Hot Wheels embossed on the back. Fits in there perfect. Perfect. I mean, perfect. Um, there's two little notches inside here to hold the wheels. So look at that. Fits absolutely flawlessly perfect, um, which is pretty rare. That is super cool. Look at that. It's just, it's, just, it's just cool. It's just super, super cool. I like that one a lot. I'm putting that one right in the front because that one's super cool. I'm going to put our Miller right there. There we go. All right. 
We got a few more things going on here, and I was actually going to do a separate video for this, but I'll be honest with you guys, I'm a little lazy. Um, so you're just going to have to deal with, with what you get for right now. I do have the very first mix of Team Transport for 2023. Like I said, I don't want to do another video. I just want to throw this on here. I know this video is super long, but if you guys have waited till this part, you get to see some super cool brand spanking new stuff. This is the 23 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5 and, of course, the Aero Lift brand spanking new release. This is number 50. 50. They are up to 50 team transports, which is just an insane amount of numbers. Um, and I have every single one except oof, except for the Supreme Hauler. It's the only one that I don't have, unfortunately, uh, which is just a bummer. It's just a bummer. All right, there is your Mustang, your RTR. Looks fantastic. Got Drift HQ, BC Racing, Type S, Pennzoil, Optima Batteries. Looks good. Fun haver. There is the Deets on the top. That looks pretty good. The hood goes one direction, and then, of course, the rest of it goes the opposite direction. Details on the back says RTR. In the back as well, taillights done up. It is extremely shiny. Um, and then there's that nice RTR in the back window as well, which is a pretty good, pretty good uh, you know, addition to it. So that one looks pretty good. There is your arrow lift. It does say RTR on the side. It says fun haver there, fun haver up there as well. No other real deets on the front, a little bit of detail for the fog lights. It is a wrinkle, I'm sorry, a matte black finish. So that looks fantastic. And of course. You know, it's the arrow hauler, so of course it goes down. You can use it as a tow truck. You put your Mustang, put that on there, roll it up, clicks in, locks into place. There's also a second set back there. If you have a, a model that's a little bit longer, so we'll put him put him right there. Just taking up the whole the whole space. All right, next one. This is the one that I'm most excited about. This is the 80 Dodge Macho Power Wagon with the retro rig. Number 51. So it looks like we are going to go up in numbers. So crack this guy open. Pull him out. This guy barely, barely fits. Actually, he doesn't even really fit on the, the hauler at all. So... It does fit in the wheel art in the wheel arches though. So I guess technically it fits. It's huge though. I mean it's it's enormous compared to the truck. Of course it is all splattered with red, white, and blue. You got good old fashioned Mopar on the back on the quarter panel here, number 80, because it's an 80 power wagon. Power wagon on the side. Front end is decoed up behind that ridiculous bumper. Looking fantastic. The uh Casey Light area is part of the castings. So it's all metal. Guys is looking brutally cool. Um, let's see here. Okay, for a second there, I thought that was a plastic base. I was going to be super disappointed, but no, it's metal. And then there's your cool power wagon in the back. This is Power Wagon by Dodge. That is super cool. That's definitely the best version of the power wagon uh, by far. And then the, here is the hauler. Of course, the hauler is, you know, reflected to be just the same as the truck. Those nice uh, chrome Krager style wheels. Deets in the front, the headlights and turn signals are done up, a little bit of print on the top, details on the side look pretty good, a little bit of print on there for the handle for the toolbox, it's got that nice low slung look to it, a little bit of a first gen Ram appearance to this one, and then of course just your taillights done up. Uh, the cool thing about this one is when you put the truck on there, those stripes match, they go all the way up, looks pretty good, so throw that guy right there. And then, of course, the one that probably everybody cares about nowadays because it's JDM uh, is this one. This is number 52. This is the Secure Sprinter towing the Nissan Silvia S13. That is a premium version of a basic range. As a matter of fact, it was the debut, uh, I believe, for this particular casting. It was the same K&W Deco uh, when it was a brand spanking new casting. Uh, good thing is, is this one is two per case. So... I think that uh, Hot Wheels finally got it in their head. That's that's the best decision to do because it's going to be the most popular. A little piece in there to keep the car from getting knocked into the truck. 
snap that on there. The tail lights are done up on this one. Looks pretty good. Pretty basic details. Nice uh, inkjet printing. It says 1552 Gretti uh, Hot Wheels Yokohama. Looking pretty good. It is a um, kind of a, a little bit of a blue tint to this uh, graphite gray on the paint. Looks fantastic. Wheels are meh, but they're pretty common. I like the Sakura Sprinter, though. It is definitely done up like a, a old-school Hino truck. Looks fantastic. like that one, too. Looks super, super good. A little bit of details on the front. Uh, matte black base on that one. And, of course, this is your S13, which is the exact same thing we've already seen. Just in premium deco, so you do have your Sylvia in the front. Looking pretty fancy. There's the details on the side. Same deco, uh, but we definitely didn't get full deets like this has, so... Sylvia says 23 on it as well. Tail lights look fantastic. It's a pretty good version. It's pretty good. Color matched base as well. So those colors are matched between the truck and the car. So that's super, super cool. And of course, the car is uh, right hand drive, which is exactly what you want. So we'll put that guy right there. All right, I got one more item uh, to showcase. Um, I just picked this up. Um, this is the latest uh, Lamely Works or Lamely blog, however you want to do it, uh, collab with Tarmac. Um, all of his models have been in white thus far. Um, this is a new casting from Tarmac's Global 64 line. There's all your authentication deets on it. Dodge Viper ACR Extreme Commemorative Edition, it says. So... Open this up. Just have the nice box style. Pull it out. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pop that guy out. That ridiculous wing on the back. A lot of carbon details in there. Wing is just insane. Of course, tarmac is fantastic. Detail looks good. A little bit of a American flag there on the rear quarter panel. Looks pretty good. GTS ACR looks pretty good. This is really nice. Uh, they did a really good job. A really good job. The uh, mirrors are added on. They're not part of the casting. Details look fantastic. There's your Dodge logo in the front. This looks awesome. Looks awesome. And there's no um, there's no Lamely logos on the model itself, uh, which is interesting. So it just says ACR on the plates. So, very interesting. Thought for sure that it'd be somewhere on there, but it's not. A little bit bigger wheels in the back than the front. Looks good. There is the Deets. That is a very, very nice one. So, i just kind of throw that guy kind of right there. So, there you go. That is the Ridiculous Hall that is known as Episode 28. It's just so ridiculous. That we just can't even get it all in the screen. But uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, if you're new to the channel, this is the kind of variety we just deal with here. We have a little bit of everything. And um, let me know if you guys have a cool piece that you like, something that I picked up that uh, either you have or you want to have or something like that. You know, guys, I read every comment. So appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. We're going to catch you next time. Love, and take care. Peace.